and for this demonstration we're going to show you how to change a battery in an ordinary alarm panel power supply. What we're going to do is we're going to remove this lid and we're going to replace this battery in here. Now my panel again is in engineer's mode. Your panel you may not have the engineer's code so your alarms might go off. Just simply enter your code and that will silence your alarms. Again, we'll just pay attention to the colours of these here, which is red and black. Again, like the last demonstration. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to put a date on here so I can just see when it was I last replaced the battery. Notice on the new batteries they have the little protective covers. Remove that. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace the colours. You can probably see there the LEDs have gone there because the batteries are fit. I've took the battery off. Black goes on the black terminal, red goes on the red terminal. My fault lights have gone out there. And I've replaced the battery in the alarm panel. Now, if you don't have the engineer's code, when you've removed this lid, your alarm might have gone off on your internal bell for tamper. Once you put your code in to silence it, and you've replaced the battery, and we've shut the lid again, you should find that with most panels, if it was it did actually have the tamper of the lid connected, that you would be able to put your code in and do an ordinary reset which should reset your alarm depending on who's actually programmed it. Again I've used a plastic slip there just to cover over the terminals. Again like the last one, um, these can cause a nasty little burn if they're shorted out at all. <coughs> Again I'm just paying attention to the size of the battery. This is a 7.2 ampere hour battery. I swapped it with a light for light battery. Again, just check when you're actually looking to see about replacing these, what size battery it is, is in there. If you swap it light for light, you know the, bat the battery is gonna fit in the panel. If you've got any questions, send me a message. Just remember, if your system's under warranty or under maintenance, please get your installing company to install your battery. You may even validate any warranties. Also bear in mind, there is mains inside these panels, so don't put your fingers where they don't need to go. If you're, on doubt, if you're unsure at all, then please seek competent advice. If there's any questions, give me a, a message. Thanks.